Today I'm going to be reviewing this Rush Creek Creations round fishing rod and reel rack. Now, as you can see here, it kind of had to tear off this on the front, and that is because it had the address label just stuck directly onto this. So if you're ordering this as a gift to someone and you order it on Amazon, you will want to make sure to click the button that has them send it, send it in a separate box. As if not, they're just going to slap the label right onto this. And so if it's as a gift, then they're going to be able to, one, see what it is. Two, if you're ordering it to your house and then giving it to someone, it's going to have your address label and stuff all over it. So that's kind of a downside. So just something to keep in mind. Let me go and open this up, show you exactly what the assembly process looks like and what it fi the final look of this is as well. So this is what's going to come inside the box. So you're going to have these little poles, you're going to have this round part, and then you're going to have the base as well. It does say that there's no tools required for assembly. So I'm hoping that is actually the case. Let's go and open up and see. So for the assembly, I'm just going to take these two and you're going to connect them. And so they're just going to screw one right into the next. And I'm just going to do that there. And then once that's done, then I'm going to take that and I'm going to screw it into the bottom of this. So this is just going to again screw right into place on there. So it does look like that is going to be no tool assembly. So that's actually really cool. So that's going to screw into place there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the top one on here. And then I'm just going to put the top piece, this one, right in as well. So it actually slides through this top one and into the rest of the pole. So I'm just going to tighten that up. And that is the finished product. So it literally took me two to three minutes to put together, if that, and that was even with recording it, you can probably get it done in like a minute or a minute and a half. And so then this is going to be 100% able. You can turn this if you choose. You can tighten this down so it doesn't turn much at all if you want to. Um, I'm probably going to leave mine a little bit loose. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to put the bottom of your rods right onto here. And they're going to go up and then just clip right into here. And so this is going to be like a, made of a soft rubber right here at the top. And it's just going to kind of separate. And then it's going to hold the top of your rods right in place. So I do love the way that that looks. This is the, the natural wood. I think they had a black as well, like the color of the wood itself but this is going to be the natural wood on this now i did want to get you the exact measurements on how big this is so let me go ahead and grab a tape measure real fast so actual measurements on this is going to be about 30 inches and that's from here all the way to the top of this point if you're just including where the actual rods are going to be at it's going to be about 26 and a half inches now so the size of the base itself across is going to be about 13 and a half and then across on the smaller portion here, if you're just including those black parts, is going to be a little over 11, about 11 and a quarter. If you just include the, include the wood, it's going to be about nine and a half or so. So overall, definitely a really nice rod and reel combo holder. I love the fact that this is going to be made of heavy enough wood that it, it shouldn't fall off. Should be able to easily store things on it. And you can put, I believe it's up to 16 different rods and reels onto this vertical rod and reel holder. 